Hey guys, it's Nadia from Leah D Designs and I am back with another video. Um, this one is actually something that's been requested quite a bit, so I wanted to um, finally get around to putting it together for you. So it is a two-tiered mandala bowl style candy dish. So um, these molds that I have here are from a Resinara Molds on Etsy. She actually custom made these ones for me. So they're beautiful. I love them and they're a little bit deeper than the typical molds, but I'm not going to be filling them all the way. Um, to do, it's about halfway to fill these two molds, which I think would be about the same as filling um, any other mandala molds of equivalent size. So these ones are, the, the large one is about 10 and a half inches diameter and the smaller one is about eight inches diameter. And again, um, they are deeper. So if I wanted to make um, deeper trays, I could do that. But for bowls, I only fill them about halfway. So I need about 22 ounces of resin for these two. And then uh, what I did is I mixed about a third of it um, or a little bit less than a third of it with glitter and then the rest of it with the other pigment color that I'm going to be using which is a pink color like a blush pink so um, and I didn't do anything special here in terms of the glitter or the resin I didn't have to let it sit and wait or anything like that um, my resin that I use is from crystal resin and it's like a medium viscosity resin so generally speaking with the amount that I actually had to mix by the time I mixed it up and um, let it sit for a minute so that I could add the pigments to it. Um, by the time I do all that, it's usually ready to go. So I'm not doing anything special here. Um, like I said, I just added glitter and I had separated them into separate cups so this way they wouldn't overheat. And then I just pour what I need when I need it. So I do the edges first. I have my popsicle stick to kind of help guide it along. And then I do the centers. And I'll do the same thing on the smaller one as well. So um, I'll move into a time lapse here so that you guys can just kind of watch and uh, enjoy and I'll see you on the other side. So after the glitter, then I go ahead and I add my pink pigment and um, and again, just a really, not too quickly, but I'd slowly pour it in around not to move the glitter um, resin too much. So this way um, I just fill in the gaps and then I give a little bit of a heat just to uh, get rid of some of the bubbles, uh, not too close to the edges, but I generally find these molds don't have too much issue with the heat gun. So um, but I don't use a torch with um, these silicone molds. It's only the heat gun that I use. And I just use a little bit to just kind of get the surface bubbles off. And then once that's done, I um, let it sit for about four hours. And then I'll be back to check it. So it's about four hours and what I've done is I've touched the back to see if uh, I can touch it without leaving any fingerprints. So that's how I know that my resin is ready. Now every resin might be a little bit different, but for mine, I know it's about four hours to four and a half hours that I need. So it's flexible when it comes out of the mold, but um, it doesn't really leave any imprints on the resin itself. And what I have is I prep two bowls that I know are about the size that I need for these pieces. And I've uh, lined them with cling wrap, just a clear cling wrap. And then as you can see, I'm just pushing the 
uh, resin mandala right into the bowl and shaping it to the bowl that I to the shape of the bowl um, and I'll do the same thing with the large one as well and I just press it down to make sure that it um it's even and that it doesn't it's not going to be sticking up in any parts and that it's actually taking the shape of the bowl that I that I am um, placing it in So I'm going to do the same thing here. So I have a larger bowl again that I've lined with the saran wrap. Um, if you have a bowl that resin won't stick to, that would probably be even better because the saran wrap does leave a bit of wrinkling on the back of the mandala. I tend to not find that to be too much of an issue. If there's any sharp edges, I just uh, sand them down. But overall, it's usually not too much of an issue. And I will just push the, uh, the mandala piece right into the bowl and so that it takes the shape. Once that's all done and I feel happy with how it's set in the bowl, I'm going to leave that to sit overnight so that it will uh, fully uh, set up. And once I take them out, it will have the shape of the bowls and we'll be ready to continue on. So it's the next morning and I'm just going to take these out now. So as you can see, they've taken the shape of the bowl and uh, they're rigid now, so they're no longer gonna be moving or changing shape. And uh, so once I get them both out, then the next thing I'll need to do is drill the hole. So um, what I'll be using is I have a drill and um, I already have measured out the drill bit that I need and it matches the screw that I'm gonna be using for the hardware that I buy. And usually I just get that online at uh, wherever I can find them. So as you can see here, and the great thing with mandalas is that generally there's a center point that's pretty obvious. So on these ones, they actually have kind of like a dot in the center. So I know exactly where it is I need to um, put the drill. So I'm going to go off camera do that quick and I'll be back. So I'm back and there you go. So there's the hole quickly just put into each one of the, the bowls there. And then I just need to add the hardware. The actually the one of the First things I'm going to show you is actually I added some feet so um, because the screw is going to stick out a little bit on the bottom it's going to cause the bottom to be wobbly so I find that adding these little feet really helps and again I just got that at a local hardware store and then the hardware actually comes with a kit so this way you have everything you need it has a screw and a metal washer and then a couple foam washers so on the bottom I use the screw with two of the washers and then the middle piece ends up having one of the foam washers. So I'll just show you the assembly here. It's pretty simple and then uh, just yeah they screw all together. You can actually use a screwdriver on the bottom with the screw if you find it's not tightening enough um, and it does come with extra washers so if you need um, to kind of fill in more of a gap you can use more washers for that too but in this case these ones were working just fine. And then you add the top handle, get it snug, and we're all set. So there you go. And uh, so really easy as, like I said, the biggest, the biggest challenge of, of creating these trays uh, with the bowl style is just timing your resin to know when you need to come down and uh, remove it from the mold. And we'll get some candies in there and we're all set. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And if you do, don't forget to like, and subscribe and uh, leave me a little comment. And if you try this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. And I want to thank all my Patreons as well. Thank you guys. And if there's uh, other videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Thanks guys. Take care. Till the next time. Bye.